Buenos dias, people. This is Shula King, and anybody want to tell me where have I been? David and Tamala Mann got an R&B album for Christians to have sex with? I understand the concept, but I'm just not quite ready. I ain't quite ready to make love to the sweet sounds of Cora and Mr. Brown. Maybe it's because when I think of them, I think about gospel automatically. What's some good names for some Christian sex songs anyway? Twerking with a testimony. Juking in Jerusalem. Hold my mule while I ride your donkey. R. Kelly had honey love. I guess theirs is milk and honey love. There's a prayer meeting in my bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. Take me to the king, size bed. Going savage on the Sabbath. I want to do all the things your deacon won't do. We ain't knocking boots. We knocking sandals. I heard they even got a bonus track for Christian couples that's waiting until they married to have sex. Keep on your shoes and sit next to me. You can hold my hand while we watch TV. Just kissing. Just kissing. Just kissing. Now I'm just playing, man. But yeah, I'm glad they made the album because Christians is having sex. Yes, they are. And ain't no point in nobody walking around acting like they don't. Shoot, you ever seen a newlywed Christian couple? They tired all the time. Why you think? They did, what do you think they doing? Especially if they Baptist. And don't let them have to wait for marriage before sex. Oh, yeah, they only got one thing on their mind. Y'all might as well deal with that. That's why the wedding don't never last long. If you ever seen two people who waited to have sex uh, to get married, oh, that wedding don't never last long. The wedding be 20 minutes tops, and the reception don't be nothing but five. They get in there, dance one dance, and start handing out to-go plates. They told the driver to keep the limousine running. Yeah, I bet you it won't be a silent night that night.